Okay, hi guys. I'm just watching Ed Case here. I think I think he might know that I'm watching him. Oh, he's going down. He's underground. He's going underground. Okay, so and all right, now that he's looking away, it gives me a bit of time to just create. Oh no, I don't have enough. Okay, I'll create a stone pickaxe. It's better than nothing. Alright. I can't see him. God. How low am I? Fifty-six. Okay, I'm near the surface. Right near the surface. Oh, God, that's scary. Oh, hold on. This is a. Oh God, is this his? This might be his, guys. There he is. I don't want to give him all my arrows. He's right there, he's waiting for me to come down. I can smell you. You know, I used to be an adventurer like you. I'll put an end to that. I bet you can hear me. Where is he? Just quickly check on the lava. Oh god, he's right there. How did he get there? I don't know where he's gone. Ugh. Oh, damn. That was close. I got a few hits on him. It's better than nothing, definitely. <sighs> okay, back on the surface. And I'm sprinting away. <laughs> but I'm not giving it up. I'm just going to go in a circle. Hopefully he's still fumbling around down there, thinking I'm after him. Don't take any full damage, that would be bad. see him on the surface. I thought that sheep was him, but no. Afraid not. Not so easy to kill. Oh, 
Oh, that's the last stone. Okay. I'm at the edge. Ha, oh, pumpkins. Oh, if I if I sneak up on him with a pumpkin for a head, that will just scare the daylights out of him. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's a stupid idea. Should be concentrating on much more important things. But I don't care. What I'd really want is to find a snowy biome and find some dogs. That would be brilliant. Oh, he's on four. Oh, I nearly got him. Oh, damn. I should have checked that earlier. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I could have finished him. <sighs> okay. Right, I'm just gonna... quickly... smelt these. Um, I don't need to smelt this all yet until I've got five more. Was it five? Was that three? Yeah, it was three. Oh god, that was terrifying. <sighs> okay. Also, I'm going to need an apple. And I'm not entirely sure which trees give you apples. Whether they all do, or I don't know. But I'm just going to chop down a few of these, these little guys. I really don't know if birch gives you apples, but we'll see. If it gives me an apple, then I'll know. If it doesn't, well, I still won't know. It's probably bad luck. Oh, damn it! <laughs> if I'd known that he actually had less health than me, then I would have. Uh, I might have stuck around, tried to finish him off. I'll just wait for this to finish. Neely, come on. Last one, come on, come on. Good. Right, uh... What am I gonna do? Crafting table... Um... I can get rid of that. Oh no. Whatever. <laughs> Stupid. Right, more arrows, that's good. We like arrows. Arrows are the... Oh, I saw him. I see him. There he is. He's running along. I can get him. I bet I can get him. I'm gonna get the high ground. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Get him from there. Oh god, lag. Oh, not the best time for lag. Is that him firing? Oh, it is. I can't see where he is. Where is he? Where is he? Alright, I'm going down here. Neither of us hate each other. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> okay, it's fine. See him moving around. Doesn't look like it. Where's he? 
Where's the... Oh, God, Jesus. <sighs> Not the best place to settle. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Keep moving. I'm getting chunk errors. It's just not loading. Huh. It'd be better if I was in a place where there weren't so many sheep around. If I hear Ed walking along, running towards me, then I wouldn't be able to distinguish that noise from the sound of a sheep walking. Sheep walking. Sean Connery's version of sleepwalking. God. Load. Thank you. I don't know if he's wa- I feel like he's watching me. Ugh. God, don't take any full damage. What's this? Looks strangely man made. Might have been his first night or something. Do I see him? Nope. Can't see him. Okay. Right. Alright, forget about it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Damn. What am I doing? He's forcing me into a little trap. God. Okay. That was close. Oh, that was stupid. Why did I take fall damage? It wasn't him hitting me that did it. Okay, that's fine. I still have more than him. God. Ugh. Now I have a boat and no sea. Oh, lag, lag. No, no. Oh. Oh, man. Good game, good game. Good game. Oh, no. Oh, that could have gone either <laughs> way. That was... Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was lagging. I just... I would shoot and then you were somewhere else. Oh, wow, damn. down to two and a half hearts. Oh, oh. I cannot believe you got me in my base. I saw you. I, I, I saw your <sighs> name and then I was completely bottlenecked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Oh. oh I, we're gonna have we're gonna have to watch that back. <laughs> yes, definitely. I, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Oh, that was yeah. brilliant. Jesus. Oh, well, oh well. well done. Good, good game. game. Oh, <laughs> damn. <Okay. laughs> that was, oh, I'll, okay. I'll All right, I'll, see. I'll sign off. All right.
Hello, hello. If you're watching this, then you'll know the outcome of the death match between Ed Case and I. And you'll know that Ed, in fact, won. If you didn't watch it, then I just gave it away, but that's your fault. You should watch the entire episode. It was just, it was such a good episode. It was, I had so much fun. It was a great battle. And uh, it was a new experience in many ways, playing this ultra-hardcore match. Uh, mainly, it was just much tougher playing on Ultra Hardcore, obviously. And um, it was also much scarier. Everything seemed to have more weight. Um, it was more important to start quickly, and it was more important to um, to not take any damage whatsoever. So everything, every danger was much more threatening. And uh, yeah, it was definitely a new experience. It was also a new experience in terms of the caving goggles, which I added as a little experiment um, just for this match. In the watching back of the episodes, I realised that uh, the brightness was much lower than I expected. It was much lower than it was when I was actually playing. And in areas where I was down in the caves or tunnelling, and I hadn't lit it up very much, you couldn't see anything at all. So the caving goggles were the, uh, the experimental answer to that, where I would just turn up the contrast up to full and see if that improved anything. And it did improve some parts, but it wasn't too successful because the cave and goggles required at least some light to be shed. So if I was stuck in an area without any light, which did happen quite often in the in the match, then um, you still couldn't see anything. So yeah, that was a bit of a failure really, but that's what experiments are for. And so I'll try to uh, remember to light up a bit more, place more torches more frequently to... Uh, to avoid that kind of that kind of issue. So anyway, the game. Uh, I thought it was it was really really close. I, we've now watched both sides of the battle. We've seen uh, what the other was up to, and uh, yeah, I now I now know how everything happened. And I did think it was very close. I thought it went up and down. Uh, there were several moments where I thought I was on top when I thought he was on top, and vice versa. And um, it also lasted a fair amount of time, considering it was just the two of us. I think we got the uh, the map size pretty spot on, really. Uh, 750 by 750, I think that was that was quite perfect for two players. So uh, yeah, we might uh, we might have to do more of them. So uh, yeah, there were several encounters that we had with one another. Uh, probably the first one was when we saw each other on the hill, on the surface. And um, at the time, I didn't realise Ed actually saw me first, and he was just getting into a better position to... Um, I Well, I don't know if he was actually going to attack or not, but he was getting into a better position, and that's when I saw him sprinting across the hill. So, um, yeah, that didn't actually amount to much. We both parted unscathed, and that was mainly because I, I'd only gone up to get some food, and I just stopped briefly to get lava from that lava pool, and... I hadn't gone up there actively searching for Ed. I hadn't thought, right, I've got everything I need, so let's go up to the surface. I, I still fe felt a little bit unprepared. So, yeah, that's why I ran away. Probably the only thing that I didn't have that I would have wanted going up against Ed was a diamond sword, or maybe maybe even diamond armour. If I'd, um... I think if I'd got... If I'd built up a stockpile of food earlier on in the game and then allowed myself more time to um, to go underground and maybe get some diamonds and get the sword and the armor, I would have felt more prepared to, um, to take him on. But yeah, things happened the way they did. So um, I ran away. He followed me into the jungle, as I thought he would, but he didn't go straight after me, which was quite um, quite clever. He just hung around waiting for me to reappear. But, um, yeah, the second encounter we had was when I accidentally dug into his stairway. And that was a real stroke of luck on my behalf. Um, because it allowed me to get the drop on him. And he was just trapped, basically. It was quite lucky that he had that little um, uh, that little hole to, um, to dive into. But I still managed to shoot him maybe two or three times. And I got him down to four hearts. So, and if I'd known that at the time, if I'd known that I'd got him down to four hearts, then I might have just um, uh, gone in there and tried to finish him off, rather than just run away. 
but uh, yeah, I didn't. I, it only occurred to me to, to check the um, the hearts afterwards after I'd gone back out to the surface. By then, of course, it was too late. But um, yeah, that definitely allowed me to get the um, to gain the upper hand in the match. And after I'd gone back up to the surface, he went up to the surface, and um, we had a few skirmishes there which, uh, as you'll know, ended in him pinning me in that little peninsula underground and just uh, finishing me off in the water, which was a very nice play by him. I think that was that was him going on the offensive, and I think that was a very good manoeuvre because he knew that, that I was winning. I had seven and a half hearts, and he had four, so he knew that I, I had to, um, to be in a very disadvantageous position in order for him to um, to take me on and finish me off. And he did wait until he forced me into the water, basically. And, um, yeah, he knew that I wasn't going anywhere. All he had to do was wait until I poked my head out. And I thought, um, I thought the water was actually a good escape at the time, but he definitely had that covered. I'd only swam a little way in when he, when he started shooting. And I had no chance in the water. It was, oh, it was horrible. It, it was, I was bobbing up and down and um, he had freedom to move on the land, whereas, especially with my bow drawn, I, I was barely moving at all, so he had a, um, a still target, basically, and, uh, yeah, with the lag and everything, it um, I only managed to hit him once. And if I managed to hit him maybe one or two more times, then I probably could have beaten him, but uh, I didn't, and he finished me off first, unfortunately. But, yeah... Um, it was a very nice play by him, so congratulations, Ed, and you're a worthy winner. But uh, in terms of not letting that happen again, I... well, I'm certainly not going to go into the water again. Uh, I don't think there was much that I could have done early on to um, to start off better. Well, I mean, I, you know, I could have not been bitten by that spider, obviously, but... Uh, Otherwise, I was quite lucky to get string and a bow and arrows quickly, and I got a full set of armour fairly early on. I think that was just into the second episode, so that was quite that was quite good. Um, I thought I was off to a good start. I was certainly off to the same kind of start as he was. So, yeah, there's not much that I could improve upon, I don't think, in terms of that area. Um, it was really close throughout the entire thing. The entire match, we were we were neck and neck, and maybe I should have waited a little longer before going up to the surface. Like I said, if I'd waited to um, to get some diamond armor, maybe, although that would have taken a while. Maybe a, a diamond sword, and if I'd gone and actively gone up to search for him, I might have been in a better mindset to take him on, um, because I think that's important as well. It's not just the equipment; it's um, it's the idea that you're you're going out to search for them as opposed to suddenly finding them and not being prepared. So, uh, yeah, maybe if I just structured um, what I was going to do a little bit better, then then I might have performed better. But, um, but yeah, it was a very nice battle. And for our first go on Ultra Hardcore, I think we did really well, actually. Um, both of us, we, we worked very strategically. Uh, we got up and running very quickly, so I thought it was, it was very nice and it was very close. And it is, of course, a shame that I lost, but uh, I had a lot of fun, and uh, hey, I won't be so easy to tackle next time, so yeah, you better watch out, because I'll be wanting revenge. But seriously, I had a great time, and I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed playing it. So for now, like and subscribe, and keep your eyes peeled for our next Ultra Hardcore Deathmatch. So long.